off. Okay, once again in the show, Mr. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Nice to see Absolutely. you. Too. Happy to be back in London and talk to you. Thank you very much Dave. If you could uh, define this movie with one word, which one you pick? Intense. Mm -hmm. It is pretty intense. It's got, you know, it's got a lot of stuff. It's got a lot of action. There's a lot of drama. It's seriously dramatic mm -hmm. stuff, some of it. But equally, some of it is... Um, it's very romantic. Yes, it's Comedy, romantic. Yes. And there's a lot of there's a lot of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff in it as well, which I think will lighten it up, lighten it, lighten the mood for people mm -hmm. as well. I always remember that you told me that you don't like the underwater sequence, and you got once again in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no. You know what? I don't. I don't mind the underwater sequence. I got. I, I didn't have to be in the underwater the un underwater for nearly as long this time. I was only underwater for about. Um, you know, probably we probably did two days worth of uh -huh. filming underwater this time, which is not much compared to a month on the fourth film. Exactly. Um, so it was fine. It was fine. It was good. I actually really enjoyed it this time around. But it was like on the fourth film that was every day in for three hours <laughs> for a month, which was annoying. But um, but, but I mean, it was great fun, but uh -huh. just tough. But this one was was brilliant. And actually, I did get to do my favourite shot in any of the Harry Potter films, which is bursting out of the water, surrounded by fire crawling onto the rocks and looking up and seeing Michael Gambon standing with a big long white beard like God swirling fire around uh -huh. his head like God in the Old Testament it was <laughs> it was just it was it was huge but how epic. real it was, it was real fire real stuff yeah it was all real actually uh -huh. that's what somebody was saying the other day um in, in an interview they were talking about visual effects uh -huh. and they were saying oh I thought that the fire effects at the end were amazing and I had to tell them that not all of it was effects like, there was a lot of real fire was being used that day wow it looks amazing you are one of the most talented and young actors for your generation for everybody everybody enjoys your work Thank we you. watch you growing up on the screen so but for you how complicated or difficult is handle all the media madness around you it's difficult or you doesn't care about it it can be difficult but it's only um it's only around for like two weeks of the year. Mm -hmm. Two weeks of the year is when you do interviews and you do premieres and you do all of that stuff. And then for the rest of the time, nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. It really doesn't affect you my life. You're living like a regular guy, hanging out with friends, that's it. Isn't yeah, it? totally. Mm -hmm. It's very, very easy for me. So far, anyway, you know, it's been very easy. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens in the future, but at the moment it's been great, yeah. In, in, in a couple of, of years, Harry Potter is done. We are very sad of that. Yes. But how, how do you will plan the, your careers? Um, I just want to keep working for as long as I possibly can, basically. I just want to keep doing, you know, I'll do as many films as I can, as I, you know, as, mm -hmm. I, can, as I want to. You know, I mean, I, I, the, the great thing is I'm in a fortunate position mm -hmm. financially, mm -hmm. which means that I, I don't have to just do a film because I want the money. I can do a film because I like the quality. Yeah, like, like December Boy, for example, was a small film. Like December Boy was a small film, mm -hmm. exactly, you mm -hmm. know, and, um, and other films of that, of that size, I would love to do in the future. Oh, back to the theatre, I saw you in Naples. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would, I would, I would love to do that again. I'd love to go back on stage, not maybe, not with Equus, but with something different and new this time. It would mm -hmm. be fantastic. Yeah. Also, we are living in the networking era. Everybody's twittering, yeah. Facebook, everything. Are you on that? Do you I enjoy have, that? No, I have none of it. I've got, I haven't got, have got a Twitter site. I haven't got a Facebook site. I haven't got a MySpace page. <laughs> I haven't got a Bebo blog. Uh, yeah, I've nothing. I've nothing because can you send texts to your friends? I can send okay. text, texting. Texting. I'm very good at texting. I'm very fast. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but no, I I, um, I I don't do any of that. There are there, there are a few people on Facebook apparently who claim to be me. Yeah, and then Twitter really. too. And I'll try to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But no. it's, not, it's not Daniel, so. It's not me. Ignore <laughs> him. He's a liar. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you like to see your, their old Harry Potter movie? I haven't watched one of the old ones in years. I, I haven't seen it. I, th I was flicking through channels the other day on TV, uh -huh. and a bit of one came on, and I just kind of off immediately. Is it yeah, just a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> just a bit weird to watch myself at that age. Uh -huh. It's still very strange for me. But we enjoy your work, so congratulations. Well, thank you very much. You're very kind. Pleasure, pleasure as always. Thank you very much, <laughs> mate. <laughs>